Hello everyone. So today I'm again back with the DIY mainly using my favorite dot stickers and some other random stickers and uh, just sketch pens, some base paper because this all is I think some cardboard of some drawing books and uh, basically they all are for my three year old. Uh, she has done all of them and they are she just turned three last month so you can say from uh, two and a half to three year old or three and a half year old and they all are logical and special uh, mapping or intelligence kind of puzzles so i'll start with the first one so this is mainly the, prep, uh, the thing that you know uh, it's a matrix i've made it's all manually hand drawn uh, there's a star inside the circle star on the sides of circle and a star outside the circle there's a triangle, square and a circle, green color. So like if I, I have made these pieces, stick the velcro, laminated them because uh, just for durability because they'll be used by a younger one also hopefully later. So like it's a green and the star is on the outside so it should go here. And if it's I have a triangle where the star is outside, it should go here. So like that we have to complete this puzzle. So that's the first one. The similar lines I have mean drawn this one so again my favorite dot stickers three colors randomly have picked up and they're three different shapes so like if I have a circle which has a blue red and yellow so he has she has to match blue red yellow and the circle so it should go here so if I pick up a triangle which has a green blue and red so green blue and red it should go here this is the second one on the same lines I have this one which is more of counting and the dot stickers again so if I have a yellow sticker and they are four so this is the four it will go here so like I have a blue one with two dot stickers and blue so it should go here so they are all dot sticker games other one dot stickers is this one so they are nothing but the magnets on which I have stick the dot stickers so they are the difference between they are different matrices size like three by three four by four three by uh, five so just try to create some complexity so this i put on the magnetic board give her the magnets and she has to replicate the same here like if there's a red let's go red this one a uh, small red so it will go here like that using the magnet she has to complete all these sheets and replicate this uh, pattern to this pattern and uh, similar lines this is again just some old cardboard and I have drawn a matrix here and I have put dots at random places and this is our master card so I put this one on the board and give this in front and then she has taken in the magnets again I have given to her you can use any blocks or buttons whatever but uh, we love working with magnets so again she has to uh, get like that so she has to put this one here this one here this one here and this one here so uh, there are different cards I have created so only few I have mentioned but I have created like uh, again or uh, like it is four by three I put four by four five by three just some complexity so, but she could do all this in one sitting but still uh, a very good exercise for the brain and same thing I have done with the blocks so I have this some wooden colorful blocks so I created this one uh, so here some blocks are empty so what I used it I used it with the egg tray because egg tray is uh, 2 by 5 so I just put on the top of egg tray and give her the blocks and in the inside the egg tray which is empty she has to put the blocks matching with and uh, if the box is empty she doesn't have to put any block in that compartment of the egg tray so it's again a special intelligence and the last one uh, here it does uh, basically uh, technically you can call it unilateral substitution but it is more observing like if yellow ladybug goes to white so yellow ladybug should go to white uh, when I did this I thought it was very very easy for her but you know uh, she took some time to understand that you know this has to be mapped here because when they focus they focus only this one so uh, it was good that you know when she has to match this one she has to look refer to here and then match it uh, there was no other logic of joining there was nothing common between these two sides apart from that is mapped here so that way it was one of the games and other one is again it's observation that you know uh, 
how do you correlate if it is red goes to this one so what should connect to so for one i'll show her that you know this should go here because it is connected through here so if this is connected through here where should it connect to and then she has to think and trace it to the blue dot so like that i have created two or three more sheets basic the same principle or like it is four by four they are two by two there's two by three just a different level of complexity and uh, just to make her mind working a little more working than what it is so this is an next set of another diys uh, for my daughter and hope you enjoyed the same uh, before i forget for my younger one who is just turned two so uh, if you see what is this these are the way stickers my kids are into scribbling so i have a lot of papers which they have scribbled and so what i do is i remove the stickers these stickers are used here somewhere and now this is uh, empty so i give dot stickers to my younger one and tell her to place inside these empty slots so uh, it's a good fine motor skills activity for my younger one to put the stickers completely inside so if you take in so whatever has empty sheets i put it on this notebook and uh, when uh, she has nothing to do and she's troubling the elder one i give this one to her so like this i have just drawn blue circles and gave her blue stickers and she has to put inside these ones so with this i'm teaching her color also sometime i put green circles in between i'll put red blue circles and give her all the dot stickers and tell her to put the green inside the green circle red dot sticker into the red dot stick uh, red circles and vice versa so like that we are doing the color recognition and the motor skills with these dot stickers and the waste sheets and papers we have been left in this house and just to keep my younger one busy because she doesn't let anything else so this is what is also the next one which is there that i have peeled this outer cover because it's very difficult otherwise to take out these stickers and then my elder one also i asked her to remove that and match the shape and color and like that she has to put exactly inside this uh, this one so again a very fine motor skills activity for my elder one because these stickers are really tight they're not easy as the dot stickers so this is what i'm doing with my kids and all DIYs you can do with all the stuff you have in your house. So hope you enjoy it. Bye-bye.